Hello everybody, Wagwan Wagwan. My name is Kay. I know, I've been off the grid. And I owe you guys an apology. So consider this my apology. But it's not without good reason why I've been off the grid. I've been very busy. A lot of you know that I do work outside of vlogging. The past two months and so have been really hectic. So I haven't had the chance, especially due to the fact that we've been having lockdowns here in Jamaica. It's been very difficult to even getting a full vlog. So I'm back and I am at Villa Surmech, this beautiful villa in Negril, Jamaica. I am on a weekend getaway because honestly, I needed it. We all need it right now with everything that's happening. Roaches are nothing. The thing is, Jamaica is currently on and off lockdowns. We've been on and off lockdowns here. But as of right now, curfew is 8 p.m. Mondays to Fridays. On a Sunday, there's a no movement day. We have to stay in no movement. So that even affects my weekend getaway here because I came down on Friday. Today's Friday. I would have wanted to stay until Sunday. But because it's a no movement day, I'll be going back to Montego Bay tomorrow, which is Saturday. But not before making a stop tomorrow, which is somewhere I'm looking forward to go. And I can't wait to take you guys there and show you that it's a new spot in the grill. So let me show you what's going on here with this beautiful property i love it here it is so pretty the moment we pulled in i was so excited because it looks just like it does on the pictures it's gorgeous it's like it's private it's only the getaway by itself nikita over there walking like she's cute and all somebody celebrating their birthday it's a beautiful 11 cottages property on west end Grill, but they also have a six bedroom villa this is the main road here west end road but just across the street, you have the six bedroom villa, um, still a part of the property. But of course, you know, if you're staying over there, you have access to this side, which is where the 11 cottages are. Now, Negril is a very casual place to stay, very rustic. And Villa Sumer really captures that with the nature, the whole property is built within nature. So they are wooden cottages, I should say. Um, the roofs are thatched, so it feels like you're in a jungle, but a nicer version of it. Carmen, would you like to say hi? The manager, Carmen, she's been very nice to me and I'm so happy that I finally got to meet her. This is Carmen. Nice to meet you. <laughs> she is the one who helped us get our beautiful cottage and I'm going to show you, I'm so excited to show you what it looks like. It's the premium one, card, Carmen? Yes. Premium one bedroom and it has a tub. <laughs> That's a my private. That's my favorite. <laughs> That's a private joke between Carmen and I, since she's having trouble with that one. Thanks to Carmen, we're able to get such a beautiful villa. So, big up to Carmen, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right now. Welcome to the villas, Sir K Moody. a kitchen a stove here a toaster you got your um, kettle there's a, a microwave right here bread pan the sink and you have some plates if you're looking for a place if you know you're not looking for anything too fancy dancy nothing too that's gonna be with the top pitch perfect materials this isn't going to be for you. This is for the rustic traveler and those who really love these type of designs. Beautiful getaway. But if you're afraid of insects, not, not the place for you. Not that there are insects in here because the windows are meshed. But on the outside walking around, what I find really interesting is that I love nature and I love the rusticity. However, I'm really afraid of lizards. So if I see lizards within that natural space, it's gonna ruin it for me. All right, and this is the patio. We have our own little seating area. This is just a reminder to like, share. What do you want to eat, Nikita? When Tony makes a call, it's acrylic or gel. I'm like Tony. 
Oh, the polish? We're not going to the pool. What are we doing, sis? Why are you in front of the camera? Come over here, so. I'm shy. Come on, shy. For once, you make a decision. What do you want to eat? <laughs> My girl, a full Asian, you know, like, why are we even ask Nikki to make a decision? We all know she wants Chinese. We'll go to the cave. Oh yes, the cave. So there's a cave on property. They do use that space for events, weddings. Wish I brought two swimsuits. But I that's... brought a million. Oh, <laughs> that's not fair. Let's decide. Should we go by the pool tonight and then just wear my dress? I do. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, before I take you down to the cave, I have to make a stop right here, which is my favorite place on the whole property, the pool. The view is amazing. We have this cottage with the most beautiful view, I think. It's just smaller than ours, but the view, imagine looking down here. Too pretty. It's the furthest one on the property. It's very secluded, but I think it's perfect. Cottage like this, the price is actually not bad at all. For my villa, between 190 to 199 per night. They have other cottages that start as low as 140 to 150. Wow, this is nice. <laughs> it don't smell like roaches or nothing. <laughs> Watch our steps going down because it's steep coming down here. Oh my god, this is so cool! Woo! Nikki, do you feel the breeze? No, I haven't got it. <laughs> it's so windy. Hello, we are in the caves. Wow, this reminds me of Green Breath Cave. Oh, is that a bat? What the hell? Wow! Oh, it's not a bat. Oh, what? Okay. So let I'll drop this up large. Jeez. No, Nikita, you're safe. Come. Okay. Who does the massages? Uh, Tara. Tara. Yeah, Tara oh, so they come in. How much? How much are the massages? Uh, sure. Look, guys, there's a boat. It's been day 505 without food or water. We are on the cave. We're looking for help. It's dark. It's scary. It echoes. No, it doesn't echo. But it's lonely. There's a shower right here. If you go swimming and you come out, you can just stop right here and take a shower. Does that work? Yeah, but I didn't put it out before. Okay, it works. Come in beneath the caves. It's like crossing the street because we are now on the side where Rick's Cafe is and Rick's Cafe is just can't see but it's just down there the cliffs right there baby yeah this is what our stay is looking like so far this is what a weekend getaway during curfew and lockdown hour look like we're gonna have dinner at five before it gets too late and that's pretty much what it's like traveling as well you're under tight schedules so you have to get things done before it's curfew time also, don't forget to like the video guys. It'll help and subscribe. All right guys, right now we are crossing the street. We're going over to LTU Cliff Bar and Restaurant, literally right next door. De la Sermer, right here. Cross the street and LTU Cliff Bar and Restaurant. So it's just walking distance and they also do breakfast. Oh, nice view. All right, guys, we're now at LTU Cliff, which is a bar and restaurant here in West End Negril. The good thing about it is that it's just across from where we're staying. They even do breakfast. They offer Italian and Jamaican cuisine. One of the unique things about this restaurant is that they were owned by Germans at first and then they were taken over by Americans, according to the server. Wow. We call. <laughs> now it's owned by Jamaicans and Italians. But they carry not just Italian and Jamaican cuisine, but they try to instill some of their original German cuisines that they had when they were owned by Germans. Alfredo. Nikita ordered chicken Alfredo and I ordered um, quesadillas. I wanted something different. Since I'm always taking seafood, shrimp, I'm gonna go with the chicken quesadilla. So let's see what it tastes like. All right, guys, it's 7 15 p.m. So we've been waiting for a while. We're very hungry because, you know, we've been 
chilling at the villa all day. Hopefully they come soon with the food. I don't know what's taking so long. Nikita is over here about to pass out on me. Wait till like it will come. It's coming. It's coming. Yes, I ordered the case. Thank you. Wow. So, yes, thank you. This is the chicken quesadilla and Nikita's pasta. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Right? I hope mine tastes as good as it looks too. It's not to die for, not to die for, but it's good. I really like the sauce. It's really creamy. It's rich. Okay, so do you? like how I eat the burnt part. Yeah. It's like a bit charred. Charred. But it's all right. Guys, so the meal we got the quesadillas and the chicken alfredo, two Smirnoff, a bottle of water, and everything came up to $39.10. But I think it's pretty affordable. It wasn't to die for, but it was good. Definitely recommend you come and try it out for yourself. If you're looking for somewhere that's easy on the pockets, this is a good place to go. The LTU clip. Okay. <laughs> this is Opal, and she's been so helpful. She's very knowledgeable about the plate as well. 11 years is a good time, and I love my office. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. Dinner was good, guys. Oh, I've never been in a jacuzzi before. Ass jacuzzi. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. This is the seaside villa, Villa Sur Mer Seaside Villa. So this is the six bedroom, six bedroom villa across the street. Same property, but just right across. And this is private. Who rent this one? But those who stay here have access to next, yes. right? Yes. Both sides. Wow, and the view, so so nice. Just go down. Two places right there. Really. Nikita, look how pretty. My God. I don't know. We got the pool. You should get with the one at Portland. That office space. In here. open I don't think so. Because it's not serviced. There's that patio here. It's not set up or anything. Carmen is just showing us over here. If you ever want to book it out for a group of friends, family. Ice homes with chef. Mm -hmm. It comes with the housekeeping, the groundsman, and the security. So it's just a matter to bring the groceries. Mm -hmm. Or a lot of people, especially from abroad, they 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 say what they want to eat and, and do the menu. We do the menu and we just mm -hmm. purchase the purchase groceries the from them. And the chef will prepare everything. Yes, and the chef is the best. That sounds good. <laughs> Ranging from during the low season, fifteen hundred dollars per night. 16, yeah. 15 to 16 mm -hmm. and during the high season can be 2,000 around 2,000 uh, higher than that perfect spot I love the views it's private I love it I really like it it is now 10 a.m. we are having a beautiful breakfast here at Villa Sur Mer on our patio overlooking the pool on the cottage that we wanted to stay at but we decided to choose the other one because it was bigger however thanks to Carmen she's so sweet really really sweet Carmen is the manager here she allowed us to have breakfast on the patio up here because there's nobody occupying it breakfast is from the same restaurant we went last night just across the street LTU Cliff we're having Kalaloo plantains boiled bananas and Nikita is having Aki and saltfish, yam, potato, boiled bananas, and fried dumplings as well. I really, really love plantains. Food is good, but the dumplings just a bit oily. 
Yeah, yeah, that's the same thing with mine. I don't like how they're not very light. You know? But the bananas are good. Thank you for the yam and the banana. Yes. And this breakfast cost us $26 for both with the tea as well. Alright, we're leaving. It's time to go. It's time to go. But the stay, the getaway was worth it. Right? It was awesome. It was. So now we're leaving Villa Sermer and we're headed to get a quick cold treat at one of Jamaica's most popular and newest Instagramable spots. Who can guess where it is? <laughs> that we were going to chill pops you were right we are at one of jamaica's newest one of the most popular i would say instagramable spots here in the grill they sell popsicles they're really good mine is the yeah mine is non-alcoholic and nikki says it's alcoholic because she's a rummy with that money pepper this is really good it's spicy this is bomb Mine is the mango passion, so it's really fruity. It's not that cream. He said it would have been creamy, but it's more fruity. Scotch bonnet margarita. Mmm. That's, That's a scotch bonnet. Oh, wow. Cool. Not only are the desserts good here, but the setup is really nice. They have a pink and orange neon hue light going on. It's a little shop on Boardwalk Shopping Village. And they're pretty affordable. Mine was 400 the key that was 600 jamaican so that's a thousand jamaican which is roughly eight dollars seven dollars roughly seven dollars for both of them i could have another one <laughs> the babona it satisfies our cravings because i like spice with sourness and rum so it makes my taste good happy happy taste bud happy nikita <laughs> dips it how much is this one 500 this is the chocolate one this is 500 dollars so as you can see, they dipped it in the chocolate, but it's cookies and cream flavored on the inside. It's falling. Mmm. Mmm. That's rich. Rich. Really rich. It's crunchy and chewy. Alright guys, that was Chill Pops by Boardwalk Village. We had two of the icicle pops, the fruity one and the creamy one. Had a lot of fun. I really like the atmosphere and I really like the whole setup of it. Really, really cool. Nikita Sonabona over there. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I know I've been away and if you're still a subscriber, you're still hanging in there. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. And don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. It'll mean a lot to me. See you in the next one. Peace.